How's it going everybody? Nerd Rock here. And uh, this is my first salt tutorial and I'm going to show you how to get off the island that you start on and get equipped to start your journey out in the world. So the first thing I recommend doing is you're going to want to search the entire island you're on. Now, depending on which seed you choose, that's going to vary in difficulty. Uh, so I've already searched this island and I know where it is. What you're looking for is a chest. And uh, you start the game with a book. And uh, you can read the book. Basically, it's a story about how you get left there. Someone leaves you there and recommends you find this chest. And you can use the stuff in it to eventually craft your raft to get off of the island. So you're going to take all that stuff out of that chest. And there's a few more things you're going to want to do before you leave the island. So basically, you're going to want to look around and pick up anything that's not nailed down. So first thing I would say to look for would be a wooden log. And there should be quite a few of them on your starting island. And as you can see, I actually just picked up an exceptional stem of bamboo. And you're going to want to look for those too. But basically, all you got to do is walk through these little piles. And every so often, you'll say you picked up an, uh, an exceptional piece of bamboo. Uh, that's for fishing, but I'm going to cover that in another tutorial. But while you're on your starting island, you're going to want to pick those up anyway. So go ahead and walk through those stalks and get yourself an exceptional piece of bamboo for fishing later. Just like that. Uh, so now you've gotten yourself at least one wooden log. We have five, so we're going to hit our crafting button, and we're going to craft that into a club. So go ahead and do that. And now you've gotten yourself your first tool and first weapon of the game, and you can get that equipped by just clicking on it like so. Right click, and then uh, you're going to continue looking for logs, continue looking for bamboo, but once you have your club made, you can actually look for these boulders as well. And I'll show you what that looks like. We passed a few of them, actually, a few moments ago. And that looks like this. These little stones on the ground. You'll see it says weak boulder when you point at it. And you're going to hit it with the club and break off the little bits of stone that you can. And that's going to give you a bunch of different stuff. For example, this time we got stone block. But you're also going to get flint from all the different ones you find. So you're going to want to get all of that stuff. Uh, and then the, the last thing you can do before you leave is you're going to want to look around on these trees, and you may be able to see some fruit hanging from them, but you also may not. Either way, you can hit the tree, and you can listen. See, that time, nothing nothing fell from that tree. I'll hit this tree. Nothing. And you're going to find a couple of different trees that look like that, and continue to hit them. I believe, actually, these are the... There you go. And you'll hear that noise. And the tree fruit. So you can actually see the difference. I was hitting the trees that don't have any fruit. These are the trees that have fruit. And, uh... Sometimes you can see the fruit hanging, sometimes you can't, but you give it a little knock. And you can actually hear if the fruit falls. And that should give you quite a bit of food before you leave your island. But that's okay, uh, no matter how much you get, it'll be enough for uh, your journey. Also, you should be able to find a pickaxe on the island. Uh, it should be lying around on the island somewhere. Uh, of course, it'll change depending on the seed you're on. But if you can't find it, don't worry about it. It's not too important. You can always craft it later on. Because uh, I myself have not been particularly successful in finding one uh, in the seeds I put in. So it, it, it may be fairly well hidden. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not super important that you get it before leaving the island. So if you can't find it, don't worry about it too much. Alright, at this point after exploring the island and picking up pretty much anything you can find... You should have an assortment of items. Uh, you should have some plant fibers, uh, bamboo poles, hopefully, coal, possibly some hardwood logs. You want to have at least seven logs. That's important. You should still have the two cloth swatches from the chest, uh, some flint stone, and some stone blocks. Now, the only thing you absolutely need to have at this point is the, cloths, the two cloth swatches and at least seven wood logs. However, if you've been banging the trees, like I showed you earlier, you may also have some tree fruit and ripe tree fruit. Now, if you have the ripe tree fruit, do not eat that at first. You're going to want to hold on to that until you make your first fishing pole, which I'm going to go over in the next tutorial. But uh, for now, just hold on to your ripe tree fruit. If you're hungry, eat the regular tree fruit. Uh, because, yeah, you're going to want to save that. That's going to help you out later. So, at this point, you should have all of those things. You should be able to go over to the shore here. You're going to open your crafting window, put in the seven logs, the two cloth swatches, and you should have an option to make a sail raft. Now, 
make sure you are not making a flag, because uh, that will not be helpful to sail on. So, it should say sail raft, seven wood logs, two cloth, and you're going to hit that craft button. And once that's done, you should be able to hit B, and you will see the sailing raft in your inventory. At which point, you can go onto the raft, hit E, it'll push it away from the land and get you onto the raft. Uh, you can then enable your sail and steer with your oar, and uh, then you're good to go. And if you, if you get it just right, you can kind of see where you're going. I just learned that today. So, you're going to want to steer with your udder, throw your sail up, and then you're on your way to your next island. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, go ahead and subscribe and leave a like. And uh, stay tuned for some more. I'm going to basically make a tutorial as I learn the game myself to help out any new players and spread the word about salt. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. Take it easy.